Hi guys, it's me Joy and it's time for my Hobonichi flip through for March. Let's begin! This month's theme for the Hobonichi challenge was around the house. I did some simple line drawings just using black pigment liners and the set of Akashiasai oh, tongue twister. Akashiasai watercolor brush pens from the Stationery Selections October box. They sell a bunch of other sets similar to this one on jet pens if you're interested. All I did was make blocks of color using the markers and I spread it out with a water brush. Then I chose a block of color and then I tried to draw the prompt kind of in the vicinity of that block. Sometimes I went totally out of the line but I think it adds a little something. But I'm super happy with how it turned out. March 1. It has been a rough month for my allergies, possibly because we have transitioned to spring. Although the weather for Hawaii has been pretty chilly this past winter, so I'm thinking it may have been the VOG. And VOG is a smog containing volcanic dust and gases. This is how I felt. I watercolored this pig from this animated short called The Dam Keeper. On the Hobonichi face groups, they have a challenge called Save a Page where someone chooses an art piece and you save a page in your Hobonichi to show your interpretation of said art piece. So the Dam Keeper characters were the art inspiration for March. I wanted it to be like a standalone painting, so I tipped in this message card on this side and I uh, used one of my favorite stamps. Oops. <laughs> it's a noob stamp that says, look, and it's, it just works for a lot of stuff. On the other side, I wrote about this aesthetic YouTuber named Jordan Clark. I love her channel. I love this like beautiful simplicity that she creates. I'll link her channel below and you can see for yourself. March 2. It was Don's day off and we had a lot of errands. Again. We went to have breakfast and I had a mushroom omelette. Next stop was Costco and we bought tons of snacks for Don, including a giant thing of Cheez-Its and random home essentials like toilet paper and paper towels. My favorite purchase at Costco was frozen cauliflower rice. Definitely will be buying that again. On our way home, I really wanted a matcha something, like something matcha. So I decided on a matcha or green tea frappuccino. I love these animal stickers where they dress like people. They're so cute. This is a picture of a crab that my dad caught in his pond. We didn't even know that there were crabs in there. He was super excited to show it to us. Oh, and this is an old stamp by Christine Heron. I think it was an old collaboration with Kelly Perky a while ago, but I love her brush script. March 3rd. Saturday night was funny because Dan was getting ready for his late shift when we hear a knock at the door and we were like, who the heck is here at this hour? It was my brother with a bag of Taco Bell and a surprise. He used some of his tax money on a beautiful brand new Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah. We're kind of holding out ourselves on buying one until they release a new Animal Crossing for the Switch. Which seems like never. <laughs> Hurry up, Nintendo. I really love how this turned out. Definitely my favorite painting this month so far. Earlier that day, we went to get some breakfast type groceries and we ate at our favorite local burger place, Kua Aina. March 4. I saw this quote by Oprah on Amy Tangerine's feed and it was so inspiring. I put this cutout of Choco Panda putting on some chocolate lipstick, I think. <laughs> it's in honor of the Oscars red carpet. I didn't actually watch the Oscars because I was working on a video, but I did look up who won. And I was so happy about Guillermo del Toro winning the best director and Jordan Peele winning for his screenplay for Get Out. And oh my god, Instagram was blowing up my feed with the planner kung post. I so wanted to be there because I mean, Hobonichi was there even. I love these stickers that Mitt sent me a while back. There's just so much character in these faces. March 5th. So many Cheez-Its. 
My favorite is the white cheddar and I did a small watercolor to practice painting packaging. And this part is pretty shocking. So my mom messages me and tells me to come and visit my dad because he had a mishap with his lechon oven. Lechon is like a roasted pig. He got burned really badly according to my mom. Dan and I went to go visit and we expected my dad to be like in bandages all over his face and arms. But nope, he was out and about just doing his regular after work chores like feeding his dogs and watering his plants. But he has no eyebrows now which is why I stamped out smooth operator here. But don't worry, he's fine. March 6th. I had to buy some cat litter for mochi or what we like to call cat sand. I hate buying cat sand by myself because it is so heavy. I left it in my cart and asked the cashier lady if she could scan it from behind the counter. And she says, those things should really come with wheels. <laughs> Next, I stopped by the drugstore to get toothpaste and ended up seeing the mini Cadbury eggs, which are my favorite during Easter. Luckily, they sell the tiny bags. Then I decided to get some Korean barbecue for dinner, but was sad because they didn't have my favorite side dish, which is kimchi cucumbers. Note to self, don't run errands hungry because I had the strongest craving for white gummy at Jumbo juice, which I haven't had in so long. I got home and finished filming editing my February flip through. This time I also did a sped up version, which I posted on my Instagram. Just for those who don't really want to sit through a long video of me jabbering on. March 7. I had a funny text conversation with my cousin. They're filming a new Netflix movie here in Hawaii with the working title Triple Frontier. And one of the main cast members is Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy. He also did King Arthur and Pacific Rim. He is my cousin's giant celebrity crush. So when I texted her the picture of him at the airport, she was like, shut the front door. So... Plans of stalking are in the works. Then I texted my Auntie Sally happy birthday. I miss her so much. She's like my second mom. She lives in Los Angeles. So when I first moved there for college, I would go to her house almost every weekend and she'd feed me. She'd open her pantry <laughs> and tell me to take whatever I wanted. And she'd cook giant batches of her famous Filipino spaghetti and froze it for me. March 8th. Don's friend sent this picture of a dog that he was selling. It's a pug chihuahua mix. It's so cute. It's like the body of a chihuahua with a head of a pug. This day was also Women's Day. And one of my followers on Instagram tagged me in her post, which was very sweet. It totally made my day. And since it was Women's Day, I thought that these Obachan stickers were super appropriate. <laughs> Look at them, they're amazing. March 9. I got some happy mail from Goulet Pens and I got the quintessential bullet journaling notebook, the Leuchtturm 1917. And from this Etsy shop called Super Yaki, I got this cool Hayao Miyazaki enamel pin. Here's how they look like. Shipping for both companies was so fast. Super Yaki included this pack of old school trading cards. It was for the movie Hook, and I put one of the cards here. And on the other side, there's a picture of some dust bunnies bothering Mr. Shirokuma. The dust bunnies representing the allergens in the air. <laughs> we watched a new show called AP Bio with my favorite comedian Patton Oswalt. It was pretty funny. Also, if you haven't seen Superstore, I highly recommend it. We had tacos and Don had a pineapple aqua fresca. I didn't like it. It was too pulpy for me and it made my throat itchy. I doodled a snow puffy, which is a specialty at this local bakery. March 10. Spent the whole day planning planners. <laughs> 
don't judge. I'm pretty sure people who watch my channel have done it. I don't know, guys. I thought I wanted to try bullet journaling, but now I'm like, do I really want to spend time setting up my weeks every week and months every month when I could be using that time to journal? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. This guy knows what I'm talking about. March 11. This year, I've been learning a lot about various energies in the universe, like the law of attraction and the moon, like how the moon affects our moods and productivity. It's really interesting stuff. Don and I had a lively debate about the stars. It was hilarious. Since he works nights, he looks at the stars a lot and he wonders why we always see the same stars. We even drew diagrams. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It's probably not astronomically correct, but I hid some constellations in here. Oh, and here's one of the Hobonichi characters. March 12. Mochi was super cuddly with Dom, and I got this picture of them together. And I remembered that we had a similar picture of when we picked him up from the shelter. Look how teeny he was! <laughs> Don says his fur looked like he was one of those dust balls in Totoro. <laughs> He calls him our little hobo cat because he was found in the streets of Burbank. But now look at him, his fur looks so smooth and soft. And he's so much fatter. <laughs> I had more moon studies with my moon guru Nadine. She's hey nay hey on Instagram. Check her out. March 13. Mia! She's a leprechaun. <laughs> My cousin is doing a series of these pictures for every holiday. This is an outtake. Can't believe she's already one month old. Don't grow up too fast, Mia. <laughs> Here is a simple recipe of this fried rice I made. Other things that happened. It rained. I have an exciting collaboration with a company coming up that you'll learn more about later. The designer who made the iconic dress that Audrey Hepburn wore in Breakfast at Tiffany's died. March 14. Another icon died this day, Stephen Hawking. I tried to draw him here and I put some of my favorite quotes all around. I finished my dream board for this year. I went to Walmart and I bought these packets that make mug cakes super evil. I tried to do this weird watercolor block thing. I think it came out pretty cool. March 15. My future civil engineer brother talked about the Miami bridge collapse that happened this month. We got more info on the whereabouts of Mr. Hunnam. He was at Makaha on this day. Also, Ben Affleck and Poe from the new Star Wars movies are also here and they were spotted at this restaurant, Pig and Lady. This is a sad story. My favorite lounging shorts from Gilly Hicks that I've had for nine years bit the bullet. <laughs> I saved a piece of it. I did this in one of my project life spreads a few years ago with my husband's favorite pajamas that he used to have. So I thought I'll do it for this too. I cut it with pinking shears to give it a little swatchy swatch look to it. March 16, another Happy Meal Day. This time from Nadine. While we were at the post office picking up packages, I spotted Girl Scouts. They were in front of the health food store of all places. <laughs> it was fate. I picked up a box of Thin Mint and a cookie I have not tried, the Schmore cookie. Ta-da! Here is my watercolor of it. Mmm, it's cute. Doesn't it taste like s'mores. This is lies. We had tacos for lunch. Well, I had tacos and Don had carne asada fries. I stopped by the grocery store to pick up cabbage for St. Patty's Day. My brother had a party. I like to call them millennial parties. <laughs> he made Cajun food, pina coladas, and lava flows. Very random. My dad also caught another crab in his pond. March 17, St. Patrick's Day. They opened a new Starbucks in my town. I'm surprised that they were able to open one here because my town is really strict with new things. The slogan here is keep the country country. I made corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> just kidding, I didn't actually make it. We bought the pre-cooked kind at Costco. I just added cabbage and potatoes. My Irishman Dawn approved. This is the brand of the corned beef if you're curious. 
March 18. I had insomnia this day. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I just couldn't go back to sleep, so I ate a bag of peanuts in bed while Mochi laid on my lap. Since Starbucks just opened, Don decided to get us breakfast from there on his way home from work. While eating breakfast, we watched Legally Blonde, which I have not seen in forever. My favorite part is when Luke Wilson smells her resume and says, Smells good. <laughs> <laughs> I took a nap due to my insomnia, but luckily I woke up and was able to finish all the Sunday chores. Yeah, for productivity. March 19. Our local grocery store got new flavors of the Wii yogurt, so I tried the mango one with half a banana and frozen blueberries. It was okay. Because of the <laughs> insomnia the night before, I stumbled upon ASMR videos. I already knew about these videos before and thought they were kind of weird, especially the whispering ones. But now I find them oddly satisfying, like the Hobonichi ones with their washi and sticker noises. Like that kind of noise. <laughs> It made me conscious of my own journaling noises. We're re listening to Ready Player One on Audible and it's so good. This day we were at the part where he finds the bronze key. March 20, the first day of spring. I had a really bad watercolor fail on this page. I tried to paint some sakura trees next to a river and it ended up looking like a bloody mess. And because I was watercoloring, the pages got crinkly. So when I pasted the paper on it, I had to cover the other side too because of all the page wrinkles and pleats. It was a disaster. This glassine envelope just has some goals. March 21. This day I made five years on YouTube. That's crazy. I'm not really a consistent YouTuber since it is just a hobby for me, but I still love making videos and will continue to make them for as long as I can. March 22, I wanted to do some very quick watercolor paintings of things I ate. I wanted to see how fast I could do them. I think these took me about 20 minutes. March 23, I was reading articles about astrology and compatibility. I was happy to learn that Don and I's signs are super compatible and that we'd make a great parent team someday. Yay! <laughs> I went grocery shopping on an empty stomach, which is super bad. When I got home, I didn't even remember what I bought. One item being a small bottle of Pog or Passion Orange Guava Juice. Here is a picture of Mochi sitting on my shoulder. I don't even know how that was comfortable. March 24, the sakura was in bloom and a lot of my crafty Hawaii friends were in Japan at this time. I'm looking at you, my decorated mess, and Biki 4. So since I couldn't have my own hanami, I decided to decorate a few pages with sakura petal washi. We watched Jumanji. Jack Black's character was the best. <laughs> we discussed the Mandela effect. It's basically a false memory. For example, I'm one of the people who remembers the Berenstain Bears, which I misspelled. Berenstain Bears being spelled like the Berenstain Bears. Or that guy in a Monopoly box doesn't have a monocle. But I swear I thought he did. <laughs> March 25th, just a drawing of Negan from The Walking Dead because he is the best villain ever. Also the packaging from my fancy new scissors. So sexy. <laughs> March 26th, yay, happy mail from Nico Neko Zakaya. These washies from Shamil <laughs> Garden are so pretty. Look at this water spout. Someone saw this in the ocean. It's so cool. I went to the store to buy some cake ingredients and a lay for my mom's birthday. And I tried to find some things to fill Mia's Easter basket, but I couldn't find anything good for babies. <laughs> also, I couldn't find decorating icing, so I bought a bunch of those mini chocolate chips, hoping that it'll work. We watched this new show called Barry. It's a really good show so far. It stars Bill Hader, and he is an assassin that wants to become an actor. Pretty good. March 27, it's my mom's birthday. I baked her a funfetti cake. It made my house smell so good. Better than any Bath and Body Works candle I could find. <laughs> my idea of using the mini chocolate chips worked. I basically just spelled out words with the chips. 
Oops. And I just wrote, we love mom because happy birthday mom would be too long to write in the chips. She loved it and that's all that matters. So since my mom quit Facebook, she has been obsessed with watching YouTube videos of Filipino chefs. Her favorite is this lady named Princess Esther Landayan. So now she's all about trying to learn new recipes. She made a new recipe that night called chicken pastel or something like that. It was pretty delicious. Also, my dad has been getting really good at making pancit. It tastes like my grandma's old recipe. March 28th. It's Don and I's anniversary. Wedding anniversary, that is. We've been married for three years, which is mind-blowing to me. I love Jenna Fisher. You may know her as Pam Beasley Halpert on The Office. She's so cute. I wrote this here because there's this part in the office where she's like, Beasley? Anyway, she has like a new show called Splitting Up Together. Also, in more show news, the new reboot of Roseanne was quite enjoyable. It was funny that they had both Beckys, old and new, on the show now. Brings me back to waiting for my mom to cook dinner and me doing my homework. Oh, and I also had grilled cheese that day. Yum. Yay, stationery selection is here. Man, Mitz outdid herself again. I mean, look at this beautiful Delphonics bag. I went to get some dry food for Mochi and while I was out, I looked for more things to fill Mia's Easter basket and I found a funny book about a Hawaiian elephant that helped the Easter bunny deliver eggs to the citizens of Hawaii. March 30, I went to Kamakana Lee to watch Ready Player One. It was so good. Completely different from the book, but I understand Mr. Spielberg's choices. We dropped off Mia's Easter basket, but she was asleep. I also put some onesies and bear socks in her basket. Also a face mask and candy for her parents. March 31. Sometimes Don and I talk until the sun rises, even more so on the weekend just because his schedule is so off. Because of that, I didn't get much done other than planning for the month ahead. Here's a picture of Don's best friend's baby Anthony. So cute! And the other baby in her family, the very chill Miss Mia. Look how relaxed she looks. She's such a chill baby. So that was March, guys. Nothing too crazy. I hope you guys had a great month. If you have a flip through or your Instagram account to share, please feel free to comment and leave a link below to your creations. I love finding inspiration everywhere. I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.